I want to thank the speakers we have heard today uh, for their valuable presentations at today's conference. It has been an excellent conference, as I expected it would be. I always get very lucky about this. And um, I want to thank also the audience for their attendance. It's quite a good crowd today. Their excellent questions and their comments. Now, sadly, sadly, especially if I tip this over, but um, s sadly, um, I must inform uh, you all here, as the members of the for as as the members of the center and the foreign members of the center have already been told that the offices of the Center on Capitalism will be closed as of May 31st, um, as ordered by the university. Uh, they have other uses they want to put the, uh, that space to. So the center will cease to function at that time, but uh, rest assured we're going to stay uh, stay as busy as we can uh, over this uh, academic year. I want to take this opportunity uh, to thank everyone here who contributed, supported, and worked with me at the center these past 22 years to make the center a great success. Miranda Featherstone, who couldn't make it here today, Lydia Conklin, Ditto. Francesca Mari also couldn't come, and, and Karen Lee. But Lizzie Feidelson is here, of course, and uh, Catherine, my assistant Catherine Picula is here. I want to thank especially Richard Robb for his immense support of the center's work over the past decade or two. I also want to take this opportunity just briefly to recall the history of the, of the center. As some of you know, the center was imagined by Roman Friedman of NYU and, and me to maybe a, a lesser extent. It was conceived um, in the course of discussions that I had with several, I mean, going on, the, de the development was, was uh, uh, went on, uh, with uh, conversations with uh, several colleagues at Columbia. I recall uh, meetings with Glenn Hubbard, Bruce Greenwald, Andre Rapachinsky, and Richard Nelson, but it's very possible that I've forgotten the names of others. The center was founded in September 2001 when I won the support of the provost, Jonathan Cole, and Jonathan, obtained the approval of the then president of Columbia, George Rupp. His late, he later commented, Rupp later commented to me that he was a theologian interested in capitalism and Luther. So I can have to imagine what would happen if he hadn't had those interests. Um, <clears throat> I was amused, I would, no, I was named uh, the director though I continued to teach my usual set of courses. The center began operating in tiny quarters provided by Jeffrey Sachs at the Earth Institute. After a meeting with me following his visit here, Peter Jungen brought these conditions to the attention of the administration. After, and they, they wanted to act on it, but that was going to take some time. After a year or two, President Lee Bollinger was able to provide the center with grand space for the center's research center at Columbia. Um, he and, and Peter uh, also provided early funding. Peter is uh, not, uh, has left it for the day, I guess. Um, I am proud of the center's many achievements over these past 22 years, beginning with its annual conferences. Paul Samuelson was one of our first speakers. Paul Volcker was the main speaker on at least three occasions. 
and there were many other exciting conferences. One of them climaxed in Joyce Di Donato's moving rendition of Climb Every Mountain. And in recent years, Tunku, uh, who was here this morning, Baradarajan, pulled up the center's journal, Capitalism and Society, to a high level, also with the help of Richard. Uh, the center has been a stage for debate over numerous issues, individualism, inclusion, poverty, satisfying work, the financial system, the environment, dynamism, capital, flourishing, and the good life. It has also been a hotbed for new ideas and testing of those new ideas, such as the theory of indigenous innovation and a model of the main effects from the slowdown of innovation uh, over these past uh, 30 or 40 years. Um, so, um, while the timing of this event has been chosen by the university, uh, the center with, its, with this large conference today, and maybe a small conference in the spring, is going out on the top, like Ted Williams and Marie Collis. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. That's hugely touching. I'm very grateful. Let's get a drink. <laughs>